from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. Hello, everyone. I'm Kimberly Guilfoyle. The president said that before his election, and we are now five days away from the fundamental transformation of America with the rollout of Obamacare on Tuesday. The latest Real Clear Politics average shows the majority of Americans don't want it. But President Obama is still pushing it, and as usual, he took a little cheap shot at Fox News. You don't have to take my word for it. If you talk to somebody who said, well, I don't know, I was watching Fox News, and they said this horrible. <laughs> and you... And, 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 all, you, and, and you can say, you know what, don't take my word for it. Go on the website, see for yourself what the prices are, see for yourself what the choices are, then make up your own mind. But it's not Fox News that doesn't like this legislation. It's the majority of Americans, including Democratic Senator Joe Manchin from West Virginia, who broke ranks today to oppose the individual mandate. And by the way, the president promised to sign up for this bill after its passage, but will he? Senator Rand Paul thinks he should. Does the president voluntarily uh, take Obamacare? I mean, it's his baby. He loves it so much. Why didn't the president take it? All right. Reaction to that, Bowling? I love the fact that President Obama recommended to watch Fox News because he does. That's fantastic. <laughs> he wants Maybe to he'll learn winner. something. Maybe he'll realize that Obamacare... Um, Listen, I, I think we should change the name. It shouldn't be Obamacare. It should be de demo care. I and mean, let them let them wear this this great thing that they think was so awesome um, and going to help so many people when they tr try and beat some Republicans in 2014. What are you doing, I, Bob? Do you I'm need to see a doctor? To as carefully as I can. <laughs> you, you have a pained look. I thought on you your were going to kiss him. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> No, you okay? He's admiring I Sal's first. Uh, no, no, I just was. Wait, can I just Do you make have any problem very, with the very quick point? I'm so glad you brought that uh, fundamental, fundamentally transform America. That was um, literally a couple of days before he was elected president. He wasn't even elected president. He said, "I, I worry if I get if I get in there, we're going to fund, fundamentally transform America." And you want to know something? We are a couple of days away from that. Sad day. Sad day. Monday, Tuesday. All right, Dana, a lot of different messages going back and forth. I mean, how do you think the president is doing in terms of communicating this message? Because right now the polling is not on his side with this. But he, he, look, according to the president, he's doing just fine. Everybody should be really happy. One of the most effective things of the Ted Cruz filibuster the other night was when he listed all of the different economists and what they say that Obamacare is, do, is doing to the economy. You start to see anxiety, and I think the reason our poll numbers continue to de uh, deteriorate is that people who work hourly jobs um, are seeing that their hours are being cut. So say that you're a, a mom and dad and you need, both need 40 hours a week in order to make ends meet. You're starting to find out that you're getting cut lower and lower because so that the employers don't have the penalty. So it's 29 hours a week. Then that means that both parents end up having to find second jobs, which further uh, uh, adds to the decline of the family. Uh, so I think that the implications of this are much bigger, and I think that's why you have the underlying anxiety of people saying, we don't like this, we don't want it. And I don't think that it's going to get better for anybody in, in the next few months unless they can delay the bill for at least for a year to work some things out. Okay, Greg. Well, the delay is key. I think, um, you know, they delayed the employer mandate but not the individual mandate. Imagine if you were boarding a plane and you're told, sorry, the plane is not safe for the crew, but it's okay for you. That's Obamacare. For, if it's bad for business, how can it be okay for the individual? The thing that's hilarious to me comical is this mix this missing 67 million dollars from the irs slush fund for obamacare implementation so before it's underway it's already corrupt and i have to hand it to the government they can cheat the system before the system even exists how do you do that that is absolutely incredible yeah and then how are we going to pay for it that's the other problem bob uh let me just uh put a couple of points out here if i could without being interrupted 85% of people who have insurance now will not have it changed at all. They'll have their doctors. They'll have whatever they need. And it's true what Dana says. There are people who are losing their hour, some hours to this, but it's not across the country. The prices, uh, if you, as Obama said, go to the website, take a look. You're going to find the prices are a lot lower than the scare tactics we use on this show to try to get people to believe that it's going to go up 400%, which it's not. In the end, Social Security and Medicare were both opposed by the American people in polls. 
well bigger than this, and you wouldn't do anything to do away with either one of them today. Yeah, yeah the reason uh, for that is once actually, you Actually, I knew, knew that well, was well, No, wait not, a second. Not Stop. <laughs> we, we, we didn't, nobody interrupted you, Bob. The point is, yeah. what you're, you're actually gloating over the fact that when you give somebody a drug, they're hooked on it. The fact is, none of those programs, uh, nobody turns out gets rid of those programs once they're used to it, and you're grateful for that, even though the program in itself is destructive. You, t you know, Obama didn't seem entirely certain that, that his own program would not hurt the economy. When he was talking about that, he didn't even say, he wasn't even sure himself. And as you watch it destroy the 40-hour work week, you can't explain it to him, because explaining work to Obama is like explaining capitalism to a socialist. Um, you know I love you, right? We're yes, good friends. Yes, yes. It's a metaphor. Um, I liked it. I really <laughs> like Bob, but I, I got to say, Bob, I think all, your, all that whole thing you just did, mm -hmm. I don't think there's one iota of real yeah, well, numbers in anything you said. 85% of you the could day, be able to keep your doctors. October That's second, ludicrous. Second, Not many layoffs is century. ludicrous. 4% increase is ridiculous. It's 100% over the next 15 years. I, I, where did you get that? Look, I, where, where I get it from, I, I, I accepted the fact that there were people who were losing hours to work. I, I agree with that. The 85%, the people like you or Dana or Greg or Kimberly or me, our positions are not going to change one iota come the 2nd of October. Yeah, and for us. Yeah, huh? yeah the guys that make but it okay. But 85% of the people in the country are in the same position. But the people they who are, I don't think that's but accurate. But the people that are, in the, are, are struggling to stay in the middle class. Are the ones that are being harmed, but not, and it's not just your hours being cut. I actually believe American businesses when they say we are deciding not to hire, we are waiting, and it's the delay piece. And the more you have that, you have more people just walking away from the workforce and choosing Medicaid. I actually, I believe there's a better way, and I think competition could be infused into the system, and actually you could get that 85% number, you could actually get to 100%, and you actually people would be a lot more happy, a lot happier with their care. On Social Security and Medicare, if you had a chance to design both of those programs today to be, make sure that, that older Americans don't live in poverty and that have health care, you would not design those systems to look like they are today That's if true. you had, for, we actually know what happens under socialized medicine. We have right. seen it in other places. What I think a lot of people are looking for is a chance for the president to come to the table to say, Great, some decent ideas in here. Let's try to work together Dana, to try to make it better. But Dana, it's it, the, pr the productiveness of a program doesn't matter to a liberal because it's about power, the self-interest of the public servant, the gov feeding the beast. So that's why, that's why even though these people are pushing for Obamacare, they're running from it like it's a leper with diarrhea. They know it's bad. <laughs> oh. They know it's bad, but they don't yeah. care because it's another arm of government that they control and are in, inserted right. into your lives. You know, would you, do you think government's good for anything? Military, mm -hmm. protection. But is it